Next, let's prepare our ears. So you have your two sets of ears that, we, that we've cut out. And you want to set them up right sides together like this. And you could put a, a pin in there just to hold them together in place while you're sewing in them. And we're going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around, except not on the bottom. So we're going to sew from here to the top and the side and leave the bottom open. We're using a two and a half stitch length. and a quarter inch seam allowance. When you come to the tip of the ear, just put your needle down, lift your foot, pivot, and continue down the other side. Finish up with a little bit backward forward, and that will knot it for you and then sew the second ear in the same way. Start with a little back and forth to knot it. Sew to a little bit before the end of the tip. Put your needle in and pivot and then continue down the other side. Okay, remove your pins and snip the tip off like this, but be careful not to cut the stitching at all. So you're cutting very, very close, not, not um, touching the stitching, not cutting the stitching. Okay, again on this one, just to cut off a little bit of the tip. And that will help us when we turn it. And to turn it, you just Flip it inside out like this. You can use a um, pencil end with the eraser to help poke the ear out. Or you can use a scissor. If it's not too sharp, you can use a scissor to poke that out. If it's a sharp scissor, it might go right through and damage your ear. So you don't want to do that. But a pencil with an eraser end is, is, uh, is pretty good. Okay, and there's one ear. We'll turn this one. These scissors, when they're closed, they're pretty dull, so I'm using them to poke it out. And you just sort of poke, poke at it until you see the tip of it come all the way out kind of pulling down the fabric and pushing the whatever you're using to, to poke it out. Like this. And those are two ears. Next we're going to pin them on and we'll hand sew them to the horse.